today I'm going to play uh, a mazurka with two uh, great uh, musical companions of, of mine for quite a long time. Uh, Billy McComiskey, the wonderful accordion player from uh, New York originally, I've been living in Baltimore now for many decades. Uh, and Athena Turgis, uh, who plays the five string fiddle, she's currently living in Italy. Now the tune we're going to play is a mazurka and it was written by Eugene O'Donnell, the great fiddle player from Derry who passed away uh, at the great age of 88 last year. Uh, Eugene was one of the very first musicians I met when I arrived in America in 1973. Uh, and we started playing uh, immediately together, first of all around Philadelphia, then all over the United States for well over 25 years. And we were the best of friends, musical companions, joined at the hip in many ways. Uh, and of course, I, I was very sad when he passed away uh, last year in Derry. We're going to play a tune that he wrote called uh, Sean McGlynn's Mazurka. Now, the Mazurka is an interesting musical form only found in County Donegal. Uh, Eugene came from Derry, but all his people were from County Donegal, so he had an affinity for the music of that county. Um, the Mazurka, of course, is one of the most uh, famous musical forms associated with Poland. And there are many, many, many mazurkas written over the centuries in Poland, became part of European music. And I suppose the most famous of all those composers was Chopin, who wrote over 50 mazurkas, and many of them are played to this day. It's also the, the, one of the great national dances of, of Poland and is danced all over the place uh, as a national classical dance, but also as a folk dance. As far as the music is concerned, it's played on a variety of instruments, even sometimes on the banjo. But this particular tune was written under extraordinary circumstances. Uh, it's called Sean McGlynn's Mazurka, and Sean McGlynn was a great accordion player from Tina in County Galway, who settled in New York City. He was the great inspiration uh, for and teacher of uh, Billy McCobbiskey. And Sean and Eugene spent a weekend together in New York in 1983. And on the 15th of January, they said goodbye to one another, and nobody ever in our community saw Sean again. He was shot dead tragically on the streets of New York City and Queens and his murderer has never been found. Sean was one of the loveliest people I've ever met, a great musical inspiration uh, and he's remembered fondly to this day. Eugene, like all the rest of us, uh, was, was traumatized by his death and two days after his death he woke up, he told me, with this tune in his head didn't know where it came from. He wrote it down right away uh, and uh, he called it Sean McLean's Mazurka. And uh, a few months later, Billy McComiskey and myself and Eugene went into Morningstar Studios in Springhouse, Pennsylvania, and we recorded it. Billy was on the three row accordion uh, and uh, it came out on an album uh, that we made called Uncommon Bonds. And, you know, to spin the clock forward, uh, Three months before Eugene died uh, in Derry uh, in June of uh, 2019, myself and Athena and Billy visited him in his house in Argyle Terrace and we played Sean McGlynn's Mazurka for him to his total delight. 
and here we're very honoured to play it again. Sean McGlynn's Mazurka. Thank you. 